Uh, let's play with this vise here. So this place came with this great vise. <clears throat> and uh, it's supposed to rotate. <clears throat> you know, but it doesn't do that loose or tight. I, my, um, the other one I have has like a pin you pull, but this one must just work off of friction or something. I think my dad was saying when it gets tight, it's supposed to just whoop. That's when it gets tight, when you tighten it, I don't know. I don't know, I can't picture how that works, but okay, sure. But uh, let's see if we can get it apart and go from there. Use this hammer. There we go. Finger tight. Hmm. No. Probably need some cleaning anyway. It's probably a bearing in here or something. Right. That's all there is to your vice. This. It's supposed to it's just need to be cleaned up. It's not that bad. It's got a light over here. Mm, okay, so when it's tight. Yeah, it must just cock sideways a little bit to keep it from spinning. That's not bad, but I think it's just this shaft. All this. This just needs to be cleaned up. Well, let's see if we got a wire wheel somewhere. Just gonna hit it with some brake clean first. I clog up the wire wheel with this crap, right? I wonder if this is all me. I think we'll just do this. Now, does that end? That end is what's all screwed up, huh? No one's ever done this because it's not theirs, man. I'm, I'm renting the place. Why do I got to do this? somebody welded that inside. No, because I had it turning. Yeah, we put a pry bar on it and we had it turning. <sighs> How does this work? What's going on here? How can it turn if that piece... Oh, is this supposed to turn here? Oh, oh, this whole thing is supposed to turn. That's right. There's a seam here and a seam here. Uh huh. So that's what's seized up. That's right. See, I already forgot. All right, and those are just Phillips. Let's see if we can get those off. That one is just finger tight. Thank you. 
it's got grease. A little oily there. At the front still doesn't want to go. Looks like just moisture in there. So the whole inner is supposed to rotate. Hmm. has to spin. That's how it works, right? Hmm. I guess it's so seized. old grease. Right, let's lock it up. I know everyone's cursing at me right now and saying that. <laughs> Coming. Coming. Don't want to hit there. So something was dragging. Is that that pin that I was just looking at on the side here? It's got to be this. Oh, right there. There's like a. You see that? There's like a roll pin there. So that used to be a bolt to tighten this. That would make sense. How else would it not spin when you. Yeah, let's drill that in. Yeah, there had to be something holding it. It's just this tiny little, it looks like a roll pin, but inside it's like a giant, uh, looks like it was the head of a bolt at one time. So that would make way more sense on how this worked. So I was just kind of dragging it along here. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, let's see if we can find drill bits and drill that out. Very nice. 
are we looking at? What is that? Just a bolt? So it's off center there, but centered out here. I guess it's not really. Do I have easy outs? Um, I don't think I do. Let's see. Believe that? I don't own easy outs? Crazy. Note to self. Make some uh, good chisels over here. I don't know where those went. I can find some chisels. But I'm able to, I was able to spin it. Let's see if I can get a bite on it with this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Because I don't have easy outs. Why, Michael? Well, uh, I don't think they've ever worked very good for me. I always break them, I think. You know, so. Maybe I did have some, now they're just gone. I don't know. A good old Craftsman screwdriver from back in the day works wonders. Let's see if I can just get one more bite on it with a... Try the old hammer. Inside. I was chiseling from the inside. That's where I first got a good bite on it. Hmm. Well, I'm an easy out, but got this uh, carbide here. Maybe we can grab it. <laughs> or not. Trying to save the threads, that's all. Um, it's almost, and it was spinning. I just can't get a bite on it now. We'll go up one more size. Try and center it. Now nah, let's do that. Why not? Snap the drill bit off. Ah, oh, there we go, it's loose. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe I can grab it now. Maybe it'll grab the bolt. Mm. If I went through from this way and grabbed, spun it. They yeah, I should dig in and pull it out. Hey, there's an idea. I just made an easy out. I just snap off the drill bit, spin it this way. Is that gonna work? Am I thinking wrong? Which way is the cutting edge, this way? No, no, it's wrong. Yeah. Silly me. No, either way, you need a reverse drill bit to do that. Real problem is I can't see. My eyes are so freaking bad now. It sucks. I just, I, I don't have any chisels. Where the hell are my chisels? And another broken drill bit. Because it's not centered, and I think I'm hitting the cast iron, and snap. Snap goes a bit. Just have this going, what happened? All right, come on, oh, that, it's like shrapnel flying out of there. There you go. All right. Plan F. All right, progress. It is loose in there, so all I need to do now is get the camera 
where I need it. Um, yeah, if I just clean up that inside there, because that's, I can easily, I can thread it out. If somebody just doesn't want to go in, it's kind of hard. Maybe I should be able to get it to go in, because this outside's clean now. I clean that up. Just trying to do that. And boom goes the dynamite. We got it. I was able to just, that broken off piece of drill bit, I use that to thread it through. And I didn't see a piece fall out. The only thing that fell out was a, the drill bit. Maybe it's down in there. Anyway, it looks like there's still some threads there. Let's figure out a thread count. And if I have a bolt, we'll make a bolt that will fit there properly. All right, had to go up to three eighths and tap away. These are tap sockets. Highly advisable to get these. They are worth their weight in gold. So you get the, those, the stupid wrench that comes with these. It's so awkward to use. This thing's great. You could put this on a, I don't, I don't ever, <laughs> I always break taps if I put them on the drill or impact gun. So we'll do this by hand. Especially when you can feel it getting tight like that. Mm -hmm. The oil never helps or never hurts. It always helps. Did some of that. This appears to be going straight. Okay. I probably shouldn't be using this long leverage, but. If you ever do break a tap, there's a secret to get them out. You get some wire, like I had there earlier, you slip it down these slots, and then you can twist it out. I haven't done it, but I seen it done, and I was like, wow, that's genius. Because that is, you can't drill a tap. They're like some weird material. I've tried. Drill bits always snap. All right, so this should be good. I don't know, what's your secret? Can anybody have a secret? Break a tap? Or do you just don't break them? I know, I know, I always break them. Oh yeah, we got some threads there now. I think we'll do something with this bolt here. And it's just gotta, it's just gotta touch that thing to keep it from spinning. It was a little sloppy, but maybe I'll we'll use a short one. Yeah, I didn't grab. Why is why are there like no threads? That's weird. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. Probably just ruined it for the next guy. Some grease in there. first yeah that's how she's supposed to work let's see if this is gonna work Hold it a little bit. Yeah, that'll be good. <clears throat> Till it's not good. Probably should weld a little lever on it. Otherwise, you got to put a wrench on it every time. Which is probably why it was never fixed. Somebody was like, that's a pain in the ass. A lot of people don't use that. That comes in handy, that pipe piece. I use that a lot. 
cents. You know, sometimes you need it up top. So there, that's my two cents. Put a little more uh, grease in there. I don't know if there's any grease in this freaking thing. Can I get a new one? Must have a new one somewhere. It's one of those threads too. And that slips in there. All right, let's just go first. Yeah. And then this whole arbor. Lube him up too. You can see what I'm doing? Probably not. This grease is quite sticky. I don't know if I need to be using this. It's like high temp wheel bearing grease. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see when it doesn't work. up and down. Let's see if I can get it without. Yeah, there we go. Plat a plow. Let me take this, make sure it's somewhat clean. Get some more grease on it. end bolts in. Clean off some of the metal shavings. This one looks bent. that tight before so Let's see what happens okay that bolt washer castle nut the battery too. This is slow going. Swapping batteries every five minutes. Bang, bang, broken bits everywhere. <clears throat> All right. And why won't she go in? Oh, there we go. Oh. That doesn't affect it, right? Ooh, it's a little tight going in. I wonder what's causing that. I didn't really, I never tested this vice when I got here. It shouldn't be that bold. It doesn't have anything to do with it. Or is it because I tightened that up already? Well, now it's going good. <laughs> Something was jamming up there. Hmm. Still might need a little uh, cleaning, but uh, good to go. And if you want to use that pipe, you put a socket on here. Spin it. Now you can lock some pipes in there. 
or stuff up and down. That's always good too. That's your basic vice rebuild repair. So that's loose again. Okay, so I gotta figure out when, when do you tighten it? Do you tighten it when it's all the way together? Maybe you do. Does anyone know? See, I didn't pay attention to that. I just took it apart. When it's all the way together, I'm guessing that's when you want this tight. That would make sense, right? Then that feels good. Sweet.